Hi there, Global Study students. Today I'm going to walk you through our overall course syllabus. So these are kind of the main points that will travel with us throughout the year, no matter what topic, unit, or subject we're studying. Um, so first things first, obviously you'll see my name, email address, ways to contact me. Next, we go into the purpose of this course. And I'll say that I, I want you all to read through this carefully. I'm not going to sit here and read it to you, but I'm going to tell you that the general overview of the purpose of this course, Global Studies, is to get a more general view of social studies, um, the subject. So you have had history classes before, and you'll continue to have history classes in the future. But one thing that we're going to focus on for global studies is not only history. We're going to focus on economics. We're going to focus on politics. We're going to focus on culture. Um, a whole plethora, a whole wide variety of social studies topics are what we are going to work on here in this class. And then another big part is that although this is a global studies class, you know, looking at the world, we're also going to take a significant amount of the time trying to connect topics, ideas that we're learning back to our own communities. Um, communication stuff we've talked about a lot um, and we're going to continue to as the year goes on. But just make sure that you're checking that materials page, updates page, and calendar every single day. It is so important to do that so that you're ready for everything that's coming along. Um, you all know, hopefully by now, that my um, folders are structured by week. So week one, week two, week three, week four. Um, and that a majority of the time you're going to be turning things in on Schoology, even if you've used another application like Google Docs or Google Slides or PowerPoint to create something, most of the time it's still going to be submitted through Schoology. Um, here's a rough calendar of our units this year. Now this is subject to change, so you'll see that we do have 10 units. That's where we're going to try our best to get through. We're most likely going to get through all of them, but the times might change a little bit. For example, I'm kind of sensing that the unit one what we're going to do right now, excuse me, is going to take a little bit longer than uh, ending in the first week of, or the first day of October. Just kind of getting that sense right now. So take a look at this so that you can see kind of the order that we're going to go through. If you have questions about, general questions about any of these units specifically, let me know and I can kind of maybe give you a rough overview. Um, now, how I should act in class. This is super important um, interactions. We're going to really focus on community, build, community building, staying positive, and participating to the fullest, fullest extent that we can. And that might be growing over time. So even if you're not necessarily a big participator now, I want you to try and see what growth you can make as the year goes on. Um, grading policy, standard stuff, 100 to 90 A, uh, 89 to 80 is a B, and so on and so forth. One thing that might be a little bit different, um, depending on where you went to school last year, um, anything under 69% uh, is just considered in progress, an IP. Um, so there's no Ds, there's no really um, Fs. However, if it's an IP at the end of the year, or at the end of the unit, um, it's just going to transfer to an NG, no grade. Um, late assignments, and I've talked about this a little bit, but late assignments will not be penalized through the loss of points. I would rather have something good than something fast. Um, now, if you have multiple late assignments, that might result in a teacher conference or uh, a family conference to try and settle some of those issues a little bit better. And then finally, in closing, I really am excited to be on this adventure with you guys and learning along with you. Um, I wish you all the best. Please stay in contact with me. The hardest thing with this distance learning and online school is going to be keeping up with that communication with all of your teachers. All right. Have a great day and have fun.